I'm James Hibbard with Entertainment Weekly, and we are here at Comic Con with the cast of the first new Star Trek TV series in 12 years, Star mm -hmm. Trek Discovery. Some of these people weren't born when the last one And it's quite because you know, Comic Con is an event that came out of the original series uh, mm -hmm. being canceled. And fans started organically doing these. Amazing these meetups. Yeah. What's it like coming to Comic-Con knowing that you're part of this huge legacy and yet nobody's seen your show yet? Yeah. It's like that. It's <laughs> just like that. <laughs> it's yeah. intimidating yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. And we have we like we have like the secret box that we're about to unleash a little bit. So oh, it nice. like that too. Well, then we just went to the museum to meet the fans mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. felt like they had seen it because they all freaked out and seemed to know who we were playing and what we did and Mm. Someone's been leaking the script. Some yeah. stories. I don't know, but they all seem to be way ahead of us. We couldn't be more excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We really yeah. Truly. Yeah. Because yeah. so, so much news breaks today for us uh, that uh, that we're, we're, we get to introduce new things to, to this right. audience that's been following every little tidbit they can get so far. Right. And, and one of the first tidbits that came out was that uh, Sinequa, you play the mm -hmm. first lead who is not a captain. Yes. But as you're saying, uh, on the set, there are certain advantages to that story-wise, right? Yep. Absolutely. I, I mean, you find completely different pathways uh, with that because you have have someone who's aspiring to be something more mm -hmm. and obviously everyone's aspiring to be something more right but you you can sort of follow the linear path of, of, of someone who's first officer because you hope that you can follow them as they go on to captain one day kind right. of thing and so it's dream on we'll see right <laughs> and it's an interesting story you right. know and there's there's a lot of dynamics that are at play there yeah. you know about success and failure and, and victory and defeat and fear and guilt and and it also means that we're not on the bridge all the time. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're with the people, you're with the yeah, crew. You sort of get the, you're the quarters. The yeah. 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 Sort of like the life in the quarters, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And Jason, of course, you do play a captain. And uh, when I was on set, you revealed that you had an idea for a catchphrase. Oh, no. <laughs> that oh, didn't no. end up, it was my uh, first day, and I couldn't see a catchphrase in the script. And it said, get it done. So I said, let's get her done. And I thought, that's, that's <laughs> a good So I kept on saying, get her done. And someone came up and said, you do realize that's Larry the Cable Guys. <laughs> and so that's no longer in the, like, oh, in the edit, I don't think. Uh. <laughs> and James, uh, you yeah. play a, you, you, have, you have to sort of live up to a certain reputation with your character, which you're yeah, playing Sarek, you know, Spock's dad. Yeah, I play dad. Um, Spock's dad, yeah, yeah. As, which is a prequel, so he's a younger man, and right. so we're kind of digging into the backstory of like, who, who, who was this guy, and um, how did it all come about with Spock's mom and um how do you remember the ear thing how does that work for you does that does it help well, the I've character been, in some way i've been on a special diet <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's starting to come through now, yeah. so. yeah. and uh doug you are no stranger to playing uh creatures and aliens what's it like walking around comic-con with everybody else in costume and in and, makeup and that's the one day i don't have like, to wear one and yes. that's the one day you don't have to that's, it's that's, like they're all trying to be you that's the <laughs> that's the beauty of, of, of doing a comic con like this is is uh, is they get to see what's behind the, the masks i usually wear right so uh, yeah but no i've actually had many characters i played over the years come say hi to me at conventions like at the silver surfer said hi to me mm -hmm. and the Ape sapien said hi to me like oh my gosh yeah, they, yeah. they took the time to do yeah. that oh yeah. sweet and and, and what's is cool about uh the alien character you play in star trek <clears throat> I'm the first of my kind to ever show up on a Star Trek show or movie. Uh, uh, the Kelpians, we're, we're, a new, we're a new brand, a new breed. But the, the uh, fun part is that we're 10 years before the original series. So mm -hmm. what happened to my species in the later oh. series? We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. So that's, that's a, yeah. yet to unfold. Yeah, yeah. And Anthony, your character is actually in a relationship on the ship. And that's unusual because you know, usually in Star Trek, there's not much fraternization between crew members. Sure, I don't. Yeah. It's, it's. I was looking online. I was unclear if it was even allowed. So, so yeah. can, what can you tell us? About I think that? Kirk got it on with. Yeah. 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 And there was like that tension between Riker and Troy all those years. Oh, yeah. 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 But um, yeah. Though, the, yeah. The, the, you get a glimpse of my relationship, um, with my partner on the on the ship. Is uh, it's a very sweet new color that we get to show. Yeah. And uh, Shazad, Mary, what, what's it like uh, joining this crew? What's, what's sort of the coolest part about being a, in a Star Trek show? Everything, uh, the, you know, the ships, the costumes, the history, the, the great scenes, the stuff we get to see behind, you know, behind, not just yet on the bridge. I've got, I mean, I've got a great part. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very he's Great a part, watch it. He's, he's a, a very complicated, complicated yeah, guy. Compl oh, yeah. very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, also, I also have a great part. Not that it's a competition. <laughs> 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 it's like I don't know about Mary. I don't know about you. 
not about you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're quite scared. Well, should we take a boat? Like, why don't we take a boat? Who do we think is better? Or not? You're a cadet. You're a cadet. So that's also kind of a new yeah. thing for that sure. Is, is it not? Right. Well, yeah. actually, like uh, piggybacking off what Sneak was said, because she's not a captain, she right. gets to see everybody on the ship. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm somebody who's just starting out, and um, yeah. and I think that's like a really great place to start because I have a lot of places to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, like a well -like. it's really relatable yeah. too, isn't it? Because you can grow, you can yeah. really mm -hmm. grow with these people. You can aspire with them. You know what I mean? I think it's very interesting. And, and one more question before I let you go. Uh, what your character is the is a human yes. who was raised on Vulcan. Yes. And I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I kind of have to ask, mm -hmm. you know, can you throw down a Vulcan salute? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, no. Whoa, both handed. OK. <laughs> no. you, you didn't even have to push your fingers the apart. Like, like, yeah, really just come. She can do it with her feet, actually. <laughs> 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 four, 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 four points of yeah, no, right. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by and uh, stay tuned for more uh, covers from Comic Con. No, just keep watching this over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>